Imagine you have a bunch of reports like this one that use a data source. In this case, Extreme Sample Database 11.5 is an ODBC data source. You need to replace that data source with a new one. Here's how you can do that with Visual Cut. So if I switch to Visual Cut, I can pick up a report that already contains the correct data source. And I'm going to right click that report and select Update Data Source in Other RPTs based on this report. I'm going to click that and a new dialog opens up. And that dialog just interrogated the master report, which is listed here, and found out that it has a data source called Extreme Sample Database 2008. That's the data source that I wish to use as a master and apply to the other reports. Where are those other reports? Well, we can select those reports that we wish to update. And this drop-down gives me an option to select multiple reports in a folder, or I can select from a directory tree. I'm going to do that and select this demo folder that contains a bunch of reports for me. So I'll click OK, and the dialog now is populated with all the reports that are found in that folder and all its sub and sub 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 folders. And it found six different data sources in these nine reports. It lists the path, the report name, the data sources that were found. So if a specific report had multiple data sources, that report would be listed here several times. The yellow panel here shows that the first data source that was found is the Extreme Sample Database 11.5, and it lists that as the possible target for replacement. If I want to change that to something else, all I need to do is click and pick up one of the other data sources. So now that we picked up a master report with an Extreme Sample Database 2008 data source that we wish to apply to all the target reports listed here in the grid. And everywhere we find Extreme Sample Database 11.5 in those reports, we're going to replace that with the Extreme Sample Database 2008. I'll click to do that. And it tells me that three reports will be updated and saved to a temp folder. Three reports because only these three have Extreme Sample Database 11.5. So I'll click Yes. And the process will scan those reports and replace those three reports' data sources and save them to a temp folder. And here's that temp folder. I can see an indication here on the right-hand side that these three reports were updated and saved to a temp copy. I'll click Yes to open that folder. First, there is a folder that contains all of those subfolders. I can open up, for example, this report and confirm that under database, set data source location, indeed, the data source was changed to the Extreme Sample Database 2008. If I go up to the temp folder that got created, and by the way, the temp folder always gets created under the temp folder for the user, under a subfolder called Updated RPTs, and a date and time stamp for the process. There is a readme file here, and that file tells me that the reports below this folder had the data source Extreme Sample Database 11.5, replaced with the Extreme Sample Database 2008, and that the data source was cloned from this report, and that the original reports are from this folder. I'd like to show you one more time how this thing works. So I'll go back to this dialog and pick up another data source target. So instead of 11.5, I'll pick up just the Extreme Sample Database. And if I click Update RPTs, I'll click Yes. And in a fairly quick manner, it indicates that that process is done, and I can open up those reports and again confirm that the data source was indeed updated.